hello students today we will talk about another question and this question is related to pentagonal prism but in this case it is a truncated one so in order to uh, learn about this particular question you have to see the previous video in which uh, i have talked about uh, the development of pentagonal prism which was not cut as we know that if you have to draw the development of a truncated solid you first have to draw the development of the full solid so if you want to learn about this particular answer you have to first watch the previous video of development of pentagonal prism okay so in this particular question the very first step is that we should draw the development of the full solid first means the development of the pentagonal prism which is not cut so remember uh, in that case what you have to do you have to keep front view of the full cylinder uh, full solid and the development of the full solid you have to keep these two thin now we'll convert this full uh, the front view of the full solid and the development of the full solid into truncated solid now let us read the question what he says a pentagonal prism of base 20 mm and height 50 mm is resting on its base it is cut by the cutting plane inclined at 45 degree to horizontal and it bisects the axis develop the lateral surface of the truncated prism so first step is draw the development of the full solid by keeping front view and development thin now we have to convert this into truncated solution so let us see the position of the cutting plane cutting plane inclined at 45 degree to horizontal and it bisects the axis so axis of the uh, of the prism starts from this point and tends at this particular point so this is 50 bisection means at 25 mm so at 25 mm draw a point on the axis place your compass uh, scale on that particular uh, point and draw a thin horizontal line then after that place your protector on that particular line and point and uh, mark a point at 45 degrees fine because cutting plane is inclined at 45 degrees then what we will do align your scale with that point and the point marked by us at 45 degree and draw cutting plane line it is chain thin thick at ends you can follow both ratios either 10 ratio 1 or 6 ratio 1 remember the thick part of the cutting plane is outside the view on both sides now what is the next step make the lower portion of the solid which is below the cutting plane thick now you see we are trying to say that this particular with portion which is kept thin is removed after uh, the cutting plane after using the cutting plane and uh, now we are left with only this portion of the solid which is shown as thick and we will do the development of this portion only so again we have to apply parallel line method so what we will do we will uh, we have to name the intersections obtained between the cutting plane between the cutting plane and the edges of the prism so this particular edge is edge 1 so call this as 1 this edge is 5 call this as 5 similarly this will be 2 this edge is 4 call this as 4 this edge is 3 so this intersection will be 3 then from these intersections take uh, thin lines thin projectors on to the development and these must be parallel to each other and uh, to the xy line thin parallel lines So you see we are following same procedure we followed in case of cylinder because in both the cases for cylinder and prism we use parallel line method. Now let us name these intersections this projector comes from first edge. So when this projector intersects first edge that will be labeled as first point. So this projector intersects another edge labeled as one here so let us call that as one. Next projector carries point number five so when this projector intersects fifth edge called it as five and next projector coming from point number 2 when it intersects second edge called it as 2 so this projector carries point number 4 when it intersects fourth edge called it as 4 and this is coming from edge number 3 so when it intersects third edge called it as 3 now one thing to observe <coughs> in the development of cylinder we connected these points with the help of freehand curve 
but in case of prism we have to connect these points with the help of thick line thick straight line you can you should use scale for it so connect these points with straight lines and one more thing to understand in case of prism these are called as edges not generators so edges are real entities so we have to make these also thick inside the development so this is the final answer so again let me compare this question with the cylinder so in both the cases in case of cylinder and in case of prism we use parallel line method but what is the main difference in case of cylinder we divide this into eight parts we call this as generators so in the front we also we keep these generators thin and in the development also these generators are shown thin and these points are connected with the freehand curve but in case of prism we don't use generators we have real entities edges so we make these edges thick and in the development also these edges must be thick and we join these points with the thick straight lines with the help of scale so i hope the procedure of solving a problem on development of a truncated prism is clear to you thank you very much